Example for an unsteady flow. A full tank has an orifice on the bottom, 50 mm in diameter, and with coefficient of discharge 0 0.6. How long will it take to drain complete, completely the tank if it is a cone with vertex on the bottom 1.2 meters across the top and 1.5 meters high? It is a hemisphere 1.2 meters across the top. It is a frost tomb of a cone 1.8 meters across the top, 1.2 meters across the bottom, and it's 1.5 meters high. So for the first one, this is the details of the cone. So the general formula for time it takes for the surface to drop from initial head to final head is time equals integral of area STH over Kautog with H because the outlet is an orifice where H is the head at any time. So since area S is changing, we it is pi x square because this is circular. So we express x in terms of h by similar triangles. x as to h equals 0.6 as to 1.5. So x is 0.4 of h. Substitute here. So time equals integral 0 to 1.5 of pi x, which is 0.4 h square. dh over c is 0.6. Area o is pi radius of orifice. 0 0.025 meter square square root of 19.62 h so computing for the constants cancel by 0.4 square over quantity 0.6 times 0 0.025 square square root of 19.62 that would be 96.325 then what is left is h to the h square over square root of h is h to the three halves the integral of h to the three halves is h to the 5 halves over 5 halves and the reciprocal of 5 halves is 2 fifths. That's why you have 2 fifths h to the 5 halves of 0 to 1.5. Substituting t is 96.325 times 2 fifths of 1.5 to the 5 halves or 2.5 minus 0 to the 2.5. So from there we can solve for the time 106.2 seconds. Next hemisphere 1.2 meters across the top, so the radius is 0.6. The depth is also 0.6, the radius. So this is the head at any time. Then the radius is 0.6. The radius of the of area S is x variable changing. So this is radius 0.6 minus h. So from the figure, x square is 0.6 square minus quantity 0.6 minus h quantity square. Simplifying. So x square is 1.2 h minus h square. So substitute into this formula here. Time equals integral from 0 to 0.6 of pi x square. And x square is 1.2 h minus h square already. dh over c 0.6 area of orifice 5.025 square square root of 19.62. Cancel out pi. Then let's compute the constant 1 over quantity 0 0.6 0.025 square square root of 19.62, that's 602.032. Then the integral of the first is 1.2 integral of h over square root of h. h over square root of h is h to the 1 half. Then the integral is h to the 3 halves over 3 halves, and the reciprocal of 3 halves is 2 thirds. That's why you have 2 thirds here. 1.2 times 2 thirds, h to the 3 halves. Minus the second one, h square over square root of h is h to the 3 halves. The integral of h to the 3 halves is h to the 5 halves over 5 halves, and the reciprocal of 5 halves is 2 fifths. So that's why you have 2 fifths h to the 5 halves from 0 to 0.6. So evaluating 602.032 times 1.2 of 2 thirds is 0.8, then h 0.6 upper limit to the 3 halves minus 2 fifths, 0.6 to the 5 halves minus lower limit 0, everything will be 0. So time is equal to 156.7 seconds. And finally, for a frost tomb of a cone, these are the details. So let's solve first y by similar triangles. y as to 0.6 equals y plus 1.5 as to 0.9. So that means y is 3 meters. Then let's express x, the radius of the of area s at any, at any instant. So it is x as to h plus y h plus 3 equals 0.6 as to y or 0.6 as to 3. So x therefore is 0.2 of quantity h plus 3. 
since area S is pi x squared because this is circular, so we square x, so it is 0 0.04 times quantity h squared plus 6h plus 9 if you square the x. So substitute into the formula time equals integral from 0 to 1.5 of pi x squared and x squared is 0 0.04 quantity h squared plus 6h plus 9 dh over cow tog 0.6 pi 0 0.025 square square root of 19.62. Cancel out pi, then let's compute 0 0.04 over 0 0.6, 0 0.04 over quantity 0 0.6 times 0 0.025 squared times square root of 19.62, and that would be 24.081. The first integral is h squared over square root of h, so that's h to the 3 halves. Integral of h to the 3 halves is h to the 5 halves over 5 halves. Reciprocal of 5 halves is 2 fifths or 0.4. So that's why the first term is 0.48 to the 5 halves. The second one is 6h over square root of h is 6h to the 1 half. Integral of 6h to the 1 half is 6h to the 3 halves over 3 halves. Reciprocal of 3 halves is 2 thirds. So 6 times 2 thirds is 4. So that's why we have 4h to the 3 halves. And finally, 9 over square root of h. So that's 9h to the negative 1 half. The integral is 9 h to the 1 half over 1 half, and 9 times 1 half is 18 h to the 1 half or square root of h, then from 0 to 1.5. Substituting the limits, so 24.08 1.4 times 1.5 to the 5 halves plus 4 1.5 to the 3 halves plus 18 square root of 1.5 minus lower limit, everything as h or 0. So from there, we can compute the time. It is equal to... 734.4 seconds. So that's it for this problem.